everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a quick demonstration of how I varnish an oil painting. So I'm actually going to varnish two oil paintings at the same time. I'll show you my technique. I'll talk a little bit about um, the oil paintings, the type of paint that I used, and also um, the type of varnish I'm using. So this is gonna be interesting because I'm going to be using two types of varnishes and you'll be able to see what the finished product looks like in each. So um, I use Gamvar. And the reason I like Gamvar is that you don't have to wait the two years in order to let the oil paint cure. You can actually do this when the paint is dry. I still typically like to wait like four to six months minimum, um, but it's very different from some of the Damar varnishes and some other things you can get out there on the market. And Gamblin actually makes the Gamvar. And um, so it's a really popular household name for oil painters. And um, you can get these at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Blick, Jerry's Artorama. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna use the satin version and I'm also going to be using the gloss version. So I'll use the gloss for one painting and I'll use the satin for another painting. Um, I've been led astray by uh, other painters techniques before and they've dried kind of strange so I'm going to show you my technique and why I really like it and then you'll be able to see um, the final product maybe tomorrow we'll see but anyways it will be at the end of the video and um, the other thing I want to mention is we're outside right now I like to do most of my oil painting outside because sometimes I use solvents um, so you want to kind of treat you're varnishing the same way. So try not to do it inside if you can. And if you have to be inside, open a window, try to be in a larger room, but it's a really nice day here. So we're gonna be outside. So let's get started. Okay, so here's my first oil painting. And this is one that you probably recognize if you watch my channel, because I did a tutorial on how to do this um, in a series of three videos. So um, what I wanna talk about is um, the fact that I used water mixable oils. So this was strictly done using Cobra water mixable oil paints. I really like them because um, you don't have to use solvents with them. You use water in order to um, clean your brush and they can also be mixed with water in order to thin down the way an oil painter might use Gamsol with traditional oils. So I do like them, but I will say that this has been several months since I've painted this and it's pretty shiny as you can see um it's glossy paint so i'm gonna use the gloss the gamsol gambar gloss on this one i tend to go with satin but i'm gonna try the gloss for this particular painting and so we'll see how it goes over the water mixable oils now i have to say that the oils are dry to the touch however they still feel a little gummy and tacky, and I think that that's a little bit normal. I don't think that these paints feel the same as a normal oil painting. Maybe if I let it cure for two years, um, but I'm not willing to do that. I really just wanna get this thing um, varnished and ready to go. So we will see how it goes. So the first thing I do is I use one of these little foam brushes. You can get, buy them at Walmart, um, the hardware store, anything. And I always use the same brush. Now, I use the same sort of thing for gessoing as well. When I gesso my canvas in order to prepare it, I never mix my varnish and my gesso, okay? So I wouldn't use this one to gesso or this one to varnish, okay? So you get that. So this is my designated varnish brush. And you also don't want to pour the um, varnish on top and spread it out. What you want to do is you want to pour it into a little cup. And let's open this baby up. Now, I haven't um, used this one yet, so I have to... And what I'll do first is I'll shake it. I don't think you have to shake the gloss, uh, but you do have to shake the satin. Um, now it's a little bubbly, which we're gonna try to avoid getting those bubbles into the painting. And away we go. 
So I'm not gonna use a ton. I'm just putting in a little bit, okay? I don't know if you can see that, but it was just a little drop. And a little bit of the um, foil got in there, so that will be really fun for the painting. I'll try to get that out before I start here. All right. All right, so here we go. So I am just gonna load this brush up with the, um, the varnish and I'll kind of just, I'm gonna just start coating my paint, uh, my painting, okay? Now I'm not, none of it's coming off or anything. So this is, you know, a fully dry painting and I'm gonna just go every which way and cover the canvas. This is actually a canvas panel, not a traditional stretched canvas. What, Jordan? So if you notice, I'm not just going straight up and down. I'm going every which way, okay? I'm going... I'm going longitudinally, laterally, yeah, latitudinally, latitudinal, lat, longitude, latitude. Okay, it's been a while. Now with GPS, we don't have to worry about maps. So one thing that I've seen other oil painters do, which I don't like, is that they'll just go this way. And I've done that. My first oil painting that I varnished, I just went you know, crosswise like this. And what had happened was the next morning I came back after it dried and I could see the track marks. And so what I had to do, if that does happen to you, you just need to go over with the same varnish and do it again. But the next time you go every which way, okay? And make sure that you kind of hide the track marks. Now I will admit with the gloss, and I've never used the gloss before, the gloss, okay, I bug just landed on that. Shoot, that's what you want to avoid. Anyways, the gloss makes it really hard um, to kind of see the track marks, which I think is interesting. I'm not sure if it's because I'm doing it outside and the glare from the sun. Um, but I don't see any marks on this. It looks completely glossy and it looks really um, evenly spread, okay? So you don't want any chunks of, or any like puddles anywhere, okay? You wanna smooth it all out. And again, I'm doing this outside for ventilation. It happens to be a really nice day, but a hazard is the bugs. And I will show you where I let these dry because I would never let these dry outside because my kids are running around, there are too many insects, leaves are falling. And so that's all you have to do. Now, if this was a canvas, I would also do the sides, but I'm not going to. So that's all I have to do. And there's a little bit of gloss left. So I'm gonna put it back in the bottle. What, Nico? I don't know, you have to find them, buddy. Okay, so Gamvar makes a gloss and they also make a matte finish. But if you buy a gloss and a matte, you could put 50% gloss and 50% matte in the little container and you'll end up with satin or you can just buy satin. I really like the satin finish. It's not as, it's obviously not as glossy, um, but it gives a really nice look. So I am going to varnish the next one with the satin. So I'm going to move this. So here's my next painting. Now this one you guys haven't seen. And I really like this one. It's kind of dark uh, in mood and a little sultry. 
and I just really like this one. But this one was done in 100% traditional oils. It doesn't have a gummy resin. Um, but the other thing that you'll notice is that some parts of the uh, painting are very kind of glossy and some are more matte. So that's one of the benefits of using varnish is that it will even out all of the areas so that you don't have this, um, these differences of matte and gloss, okay? It kind of brings everything up to um, the same level. So I'm gonna use satin with this one because it is kind of a dark, I'm looking for a dark feel here. I would use matte, I guess, but I don't know. I don't have matte, so we're using satin. So again, I'm just gonna put a little bit in, okay? And I used too much last time and that's fine, but I don't wanna make the same mistake again. So again, I'm using my varnish brush. I didn't change, I didn't wash the brush between um, paintings here. And the reason is, is that there is some gloss in the satin varnish, okay? So I'm not adulterating this in any way by doing that. So it's interesting because as I'm now going over this, I'm seeing some little flecks of other colors that really gets brought out with the varnish. It's interesting. It really just kind of highlights everything and brings it all up to the surface. And again, I'm just going every which way. And this is another one I did um, earlier this summer. And you know, I'm probably varnishing these a little bit sooner than I want to, but it's the end of summer and truthfully, I just wanna get these out of my life, out of my studio. And uh, once they're varnished, I can kind of put them away somewhere or sell them or whatever. But um, yeah, I want these out of my life. I like them, but it's time for new paintings. I need to expand the tents as they say. Oh my gosh, so insects are really starting to land on my other one. I don't know if they're attracted to the gambar or if they like the lemons of the painting, I don't know. But again, I am just going every which way to evenly coat the canvas or the canvas panel and more importantly, so I don't have any track marks running down. The other thing you wanna do is make sure to sign your painting before. I just, I did a series of three paintings recently and I, and I used satin varnish and they varnished really well and then I realized that I did not sign the painting. So I took a marker and I signed the back real quick. Whoops. And so again, this one is the satin finish, so it's not as glossy, but it does have a high shine right now because it is in the sun. So as I'm kind of looking and seeing all of the angles here, there's no puddling, there is no areas that are, you know, glaringly um, unvarnished. So I'm gonna just do my final sweep here. And then I will show you where I dry these because this is one of my greatest ideas ever, actually. It's one of my favorite ideas I've ever come up with. And I'm not sure it's my idea, but I'm, it's one I've adopted through something somewhere, I don't know. But that is the whole process. Now, in order to wash this, I'm gonna use really good dish soap like Dawn or something like that and warm water and just kind of get all the varnish out and call it a day. And then the varnishes can just be stored with my other solvents and um, oil painting paraphernalia. So that's the whole process, very easy. And this will dry overnight. So tomorrow I could frame them. I might wait another couple of days, but that's the whole process. And now we let them dry. So here we are in my drying area, which is actually our RV, which we live in for the winter months. We go to Florida and other places. However, in the springtime, it sits in our country house, which is where we are right now. And 
our country house doesn't have a lot of rooms. We live on a big plot of land, but there's not a lot of space in the house, so which is why I have to paint outside and uh, it gets crazy. But um, I use the RV as my drying area for my paintings. So all I do is I put them on the table on their little um, newspapers, okay? So this provides me with a good amount of space. And then you don't want to let dust settle on the um, paintings because that will be bad. So what I have devised in my abundance of wisdom is this big Tupperware. And I just kind of bang it to get all of the, <laughs> it's real professional here. We just bang it to get all of the dirt out because who knows what it's being used for. Forts, caves, weapons. And I just place them, I place it right over the paintings. And now, presumably, they won't get any dirt or dust on them. Now they only need to dry for about maybe 24 hours, less than that. It's really overnight. But I'll come back in about 24 hours. I'll just show you how the gloss versus the satin actually looks once it's dry. So the one takeaway for the Gamvar varnish is as you do it, you need to not leave any track marks, go left to right, east to west, south to north, all the directions, okay? And do it multiple times so you just diminish any of those chances for lines and puddles and things like that. Really coat the canvas evenly and you won't have any problems. So the other thing to note is with the Gamvar, you can take it off. I don't know why you'd take it off, but if you really messed up or, I actually thought about taking it off um, in order to sign my name, but I didn't. I just like took a Sharpie and signed the back. Um, but you can use Gamsol and that will just take the um, layer of varnish off. I would get nervous though that it would also take off the paint. So only do it in emergencies, but that option is available where it's not available in all varnishes. So definitely I recommend the Gambar. And so we'll see tomorrow how these came out. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours, give or take an hour or so. And they are dry to the touch. I still feel like they're a little bit of, I still feel a little bit of tackiness, but I don't feel, you know, nervous about touching them. Let's take a look at the difference between the gloss and the mat. So here was the mat. And it is, oh, I'm sorry, this is not mat. I shouldn't have said that. This is satin, okay? So this is the one, so it's a little bit more matte than the gloss, but you can still see that there's a nice shine to that, okay? Now here was the gloss. And so this one is definitely glossier. Um, you know, it definitely has more of a shine. I'll be honest though, I don't see like a huge difference. Um, I mean, there is a difference, but it's not, you know, so shiny where it's like, you know, you need sunglasses to see it or something. It, it just puts a little bit of an extra shine, but the extra shine is pretty subtle. So it doesn't look anything too crazy. I think that the gloss was still a good choice for this one. And I really like the satin finish for this. Um, so there you have it. Perfectly dry to the touch in just 24 hours. I am gonna probably give it a little bit of extra time before framing. I didn't buy the frames yet, so that will be easy to do. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please just let me know on the comments, and I will get back to you. And for those who are watching my channel and watching all my videos, um, the next one I put out in a couple of weeks, um, stay tuned for a watercolor paint along, and I think we're gonna do a deer, so. Anyways, um, watch out for that, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great day.